Calgary. This was looking uh, with a lot of purpose from the time he came into bat. On that occasion, slightly off pitch, lifting it right out to the uh, infield for a boundary. Full toss and put away. So a lot of boundaries. Two boundaries in this over already for the Silva. That was a bad delivery and it got the treatment. No hesitation by the Silva, picking it very early, picking his spot right down to the boundary. Right through with it, looking really intent. Going behind this uh, 306. Going for the single and getting it. Robin Singh was a little deep at mid wicket. This is exactly the way he played in the World Cup semi final. He came when two wickets had gone down pretty quickly. But that didn't uh, make De Silva change his tactics in any way. He went for his shots. And, uh, literally creamed the bowling for a half century. So good last over for the Sri Lankans there. Ten runs coming of that, 86 for two. And swept away beautifully by De Silva. Good, clever cricket. Square leg was up in the circle. And De Silva very quick to pounce on it and get the placement right. So now straight away pressure on the bowler when you're hit for a boundary of the first delivery of the over. Square fielder turn taken to the uh, mid wicket boundary. Silva picking his pot. Placement perfect. Showing that he's in really good form. Important that uh, Kumble now varies his pace because the ball is hard and new. So if you push it through, it'll come on to the bat. Oh, glorious. That's a glorious shot. Lovely wrist work to get the placement right. And the 100 coming up for Sri Lanka. This is well on that occasion, waiting for it to come on. Just leaning onto that one, slightly over pitch, picking his spot. Wristily place, wrist placement right down to the line. Well, it just seems for the moment he's toying with that outside field of Anil Kumble. And he goes for the big one this time, and he literally is toying with that onside field. This is superb batting by a world-class player. Seems he will get the boundaries at will on the person form that he is in. Kumble once again keeping it up. This is about picking it well. Confidently lofting it over the infield for four. Oh, that's a lovely shot. He's a classy player out of the two. Well, a good shot brings up 150 for Sri Lanka. Always there's a risk when you're bowling Robin Singh without a long off. The batsmen fancy their chances, hitting a lofted shot right back over the bowler's head. Marwan Atapattu knew there was a mid-off there, so he had a safe bet, just clearing the fielder. Four runs for the taking. Well, Sri Lanka have shown themselves in the last uh, four or five years to be the best chasing team in uh, world cricket when it comes to a one-day chase. Certainly, uh, they haven't done anything so far to ruin that reputation tonight. And talking about the faith of their crowd and the team, after winning the World Cup, they have become so consistent in winning matches that they have proved that winning the World Cup was no flash in the pan. Yeah! Shouts of catch it, but it's just wide of the Indian skipper. And since that World Cup win, they have won most of their matches. And that's the reason the crowd is still there. They know their team is very consistent.
but in the air for a while, well clear of Azad. This has been very sensible batting from uh, this Sri Lankan pair. They realised that they weren't going to win the game by just out and out thrashing. Certainly there have been some uh, calculated risks taken in the batting. But uh, they also have had some pretty steady periods where they've just worked the ball around. 84 at the moment, this partnership is worth. It's 158 for two. straight as a die, straight over his head for six. Well, this is a brave shot by Arjuna Ranachunga. He was dismissed by Harbhajan Singh in the deep when he attempted that in the last game against India, but this time he made sure that he struck that well and hit it over mid-on quite cleanly. Oh, well played. What a great catch. Well, once too often he's tried to just... Nudge it away down to third man, and Agarka getting that ball to swing away. And as Ravi Shastri said, he's got this uncanny knack of making the breakthrough, and that really was a lovely catch, beautifully taken by Monga. Just watch this again. Wonderful catch, and it could be the catch that changes this match. Well, this dismissal doesn't surprise me at all. Again, Ranatunga attempts that shot, even though he was beaten off the previous delivery. Ajit Agarka is a man who pick up, picks up wickets. Superb catch by Nayan Monga could really be the catch of the match. A big blow for Sri Lanka, this. Arjuna Ranatunga dismissed the man in form. He was looking dangerous. 197 for four. Oh, he's taken that one from outside off stuff, and he's got it away fine. He'll come back for the second. That's well fielded too. Nicely picked up on the boundary. Well, it's a good time for Kumble to be brought back into the attack with the, because there's a new man out there, but he must ensure that he gets his line right. It wasn't his fault there. Mahanama picked him up from outside the off stump. So Aravinda decides that he'll go through the offside. He does it very successfully. Almost saying, well, you think I'm restricted to the sweep shot? Have a look at this space that was created on the offside, taken full advantage, the location by Arvind de Silva, picked his spot, timed it beautifully, right down to the line. Yeah! Just clears the bowler. Kumble's uh, had a couple of situations where he's banged into the non-striker in attempting to field the ball. There's no way he was impeded on that occasion. But I think he was annoyed once before, spoke to the umpire about it. But uh, it's just one of those things, there's not much you can do about it, and he certainly would never have caught that. Sri Lanka uh, certainly put themselves in a position to win. India badly need to get rid of Aravindra if they're going to win it. He's playing like a German band. On and on he goes. Really, the injury not impeding that sweep shot of his. Banged it right from the middle of the bat. Placement perfect. You better send that young ball boy to the fielding farm, I think, Sally. It's gone straight through his legs. Ah! Big shout from Mongia, but it came after the bowler. Umpire KT Francis says not out. It's 220 for four. Anit Kabol's uh, a good top spinner. This one skidded straight on. And it looked like uh, that shout was a worthwhile one. It appeared to be uh, quite a thick edge. Aravinda just suggesting to Mongia that he's hearing things, but uh, I don't think he was. He really has swept brilliantly. Well enough to beat Chad Asia. 
Jareja, one of the better fielders in the Indian side. That was swept it from the right of the middle of the bat. Timing perfect. And whistles are down to the boundary. He's got it away fine. He'll get one. Will he come back for the second? Don't run him out. He's coming back for the second. That's his hundred brilliant innings. Wonderfully played, Aravinda de Silva. What an innings. Is the old man clapping? Oh, yes, he is. Even Dad is clapping. Boy, what a knock. Aravinda de Silva has played a blinder. And he's not finished yet. Well, surely we'll go down as one of the greatest innings Arvinda has played. And Jai Surya was so happy for Arvinda. Sprinted for that second one. In the air. Oh, he's got him. Yes, Abhishan Singh's caught him. I thought that he'd lost his concentration just a little bit. Really, it didn't need that sort of shot. But that's the end of a wonderful innings. Aravinda de Silva tried to pull that one away over the top of Long Island and I reckon that every person in the stadium will be standing and cheering this man off the ground. He has played a gem of an innings for his country and appropriately he's played it in their Independence Cup celebration tournament, the Nita Haas Trophy. What a player. Well, another, another great innings by a great batsman. As long as Arvinda is there, the Indians know they cannot take any match easy. He's gone now, now they'll fancy their chances. Deserving standing ovation there. Chandran strike. Oh, oh the leg, well bowled, beautifully bowled. That was the one that went on just a little bit quicker, straight with the arm. And now... Kumbli, when it really has mattered, has broken through and uh, another wicket has fallen. A good move by the Indian skipper. And greater bowling by Kumbli. Did it for the captain and for his team. And couldn't have been at a better time. He's an aggressive bowler. A wicket really peps him up. And I hope he goes for more. Upul Chandana, a dangerous batsman in these circumstances. Goes for four. And Sri Lanka, 280 for six. Kamara Dharamasina. Good temperament he's got. He's um, come to the party on a few occasions when the going has got tough. Yeah, yeah. Asking the question. Asking the question again and again and again. And uh, the umpire wondering what it's all about. And I, I just wonder what's happening here. Now the umpire is, uh, what's he saying? Well, he's equal four runs, that's what matters. Oh, he's going to be out, oh, he's run out, he's run out. What a dreadful mix-up, a hopeless mix-up. Roshan Mahanava is on his way back to the pavilion. A dreadful mix-up, they really were overdoing these singles. They didn't re need to go absolutely berserk. I think what happened there was he called for one. And let's just have a look at it. There we go. He pushes it. Looks as if he wants one. But uh, there was a mix-up in the centre at this stage. And then, of course, they both ended up way out of their ground. And that's well fielded. About a foot out of his ground. And very well done there by Tadeja. Coming in really fast. He kept his cool. But what a good innings by Roshan Mahanama. 44 or 49 balls. That's very well played. An innings of character. Well, there's a slower ball, and he throws it at the stumps. He's hit the stumps, and now they're going. No, he's hit that. Was there bail on? Was there bail on? That's the question. Well, he's asking for a replay. I think there was a bail on. I think this is a run out. Yeah, that's what Ajay was trying to tell, that there was one bail on. The first throw dislodged one bail, and one bail was intact. I think that's exactly what's happened. And again, Katie Francis uh, keeping his cool, having a good look at it, and then calling for this replay. Now watch this. He misses it. Slower ball. Very well bowled. One bail goes off here, I think. Watch this. He's in his crease. It hits the stump. One bail still on. Now then, is it still on? Yes. Now then, was his bat out? I, <laughs> I was watching the stumps. We'll have to see whether his bat was out of his crease. Here we go. 
we go. You can see it dislodged just there, and that's our correct decision has been made. And good umpiring again by Francis, keeping his cool and going for the TV umpire. Something that Kure should have done earlier in the game. Francis showing more experience there. And Bandar Tilake gone for naught. Sri Lanka 298 for nine. Right, here we go. He's had a go at it, and he smashed it away through the offside field. Murali wants a second. Is he going to come back? Yes, he's coming back. This is going to be run out. It's all over. India have won. India have taken it out. They've gone for the second run. And the run out, India have won. The singer Akai, Nina Hush Trophy, here in Colombo, and in dramatic style too. This has been a wonderful game of cricket. And have a look at the jubilation there. They really have performed so well under pressure. Well, India has won the game, that's the bottom line. Good fielding by Ajit Agarkar again, and look at my Nail Mogia, not an easy take. But he held it, and Vikramasinghe shot by a few yards there. So an important win for the Indians, they've beaten the world champions on their home ground. So I hope you've enjoyed those highlights of the final of the 1998 Singer Akai series. And victory to India by six runs. And many congratulations to both sides for making it such a memorable final too. Let's just remind ourselves quickly of the scorecards. India 307 for six with that world record opening partnership of 252 between Tendulkar and Ganguly. Their 307 for six seemed as if it would be an unsurmountable uh, task for the Sri Lankans. But thanks to Aravinda de Silva with that wonderful 105, they almost got there. 301 of 49.3. And congratulations to Aravinda de Silva on his Man of the Series award and to Sachin Tendulka on the Man of the Match award. So there we are. We've enjoyed bringing you all this series. So badly affected from rain, but in the end coming good with that great game of limited overs cricket. Do join us again soon for more top-class cricket here on ESPN. In the meantime, from all the team in the studio, a very goodbye to you.